Hi, we're going to discuss the carbon cycle and the hydrosphere, mostly the ocean. So most of the water on planet Earth, or the hydrosphere, is going to be found in the oceans, right? It makes up two-thirds of the surface of Earth is the ocean, um, and a very tiny amounts in grand, groundwater and also on uh, surface water on land. So let's, look, let's focus our attention to the ocean. So you notice the ocean will take in carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and it will release it back to the atmosphere also. All right, and that's a constant going back and forth. So some photosynthesis will happen, right? Taking carbon dioxide, some decomposition will happen or cellular respiration will happen and release it back to the atmosphere or a constant uh, cycle between the two. Some of the carbon atoms will actually sink down and become part of the ocean floor. So here's a much more detailed view of it. And notice the very top of the ocean surface, that's where photosynthesis happens. Yes, there's animals up there also doing cellular respiration, all right? But photosynthesis only happens at that top surface. When things die, it goes down to that twilight zone. And you notice there at that point, things will get broken down more, uh, some more decomposition. There's other organisms living down there that will do some cellular respiration. And at the very bottom, notice some of this organic compounds um, of carbon will actually float down and become part of the ocean floor. The main idea here is the ocean will exchange carbon atoms with, at the surface and a lot of carbon atoms is at near the bottom of the ocean or in the deep ocean. Thank you for listening.